Okay. Hey everybody, I'm Ranger Hunter. I'm so glad that we got the opportunity to come and speak to you guys today. Hopefully we can teach you a little bit about the special friendly animals that we brought with you. Now, I'd first like to ask if anybody here has ever seen an animal build its own house. I definitely have. I've seen a beehive, but I know that beehive is a Exactly. Beehives, are, that is a perfect example of animals building their own houses. That's wonderful. Anything else? What about ants? Ants. Yeah, you know, the ant hills out of dirt where they can all live. I've got termite mounds. Termite mounds. That's a great one. A lot. Those are big, aren't they? They can get pretty big. Yes. At first, they start really small. Absolutely. About birds. What do we think? What do birds build? Nests. 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 Sticks. Stuff up in trees. That's a good one. How about beavers? We know beavers build their own houses too. A, lot. a, be a beaver lodge. Yeah. Across the river. Out of sticks. That's a great one. Well, there's one more type of animal that will build its own house. A snake. Which is a bird. That's a good one as well. We have with us a friend who can build its house and it can be 10 feet high. Do you know how high is 10 feet? Can we reach up pretty tall? I can't even reach 10 feet. How high do you think I can reach right now? All the way up to the top. Pretty tall. All right, and it can be even longer than it is tall. 40 feet or longer. That is just as big as the room. All right, well, the interesting thing about this house is that you can be right around it and not even know. You mentioned how that might be possible, right? If it burrows underground. So we have with us a burrowing animal, even bigger than a snake. Wait. I'm going to bring it out. I just happened to bring it with me today. He's going to bring We've got with us a Mitzi, a gopher tortoise. Right? Go for tortoise. I'll bring her down. We can touch her. We will, if y'all are real big, we can touch her at the end. I'll bring her back out. But you can see, if you were trying to dig a hole as big as this turtle can dig, what would you need? I have to say a shovel. Yeah, you'd need a shovel, right? Well, this turtle, this tortoise does not even need a shovel. Look at this place here. You see how it's If you want to touch, just two fingers, just two fingers on its shell here. And if you notice, its front legs here, how flat they are. Two fingers, two fingers. And it sounds like a shovel. If anyone would like to touch with two fingers. And this is Mitzi the gopher tortoise. Can you see the difference between her front legs and her back legs here? She's trying to walk away. She is. Oh. She's trying to move, but she will dig with these front legs. Oh, well, maybe a little later. I'm actually going to hand her off to Emily here so she can tell you a bit more.
send me an army for you. checks on her stomach with like corn, pieces of corn. Um, one really cool thing about her is that, and why we have her is that she's an albino. So if she was out in the wilderness, she would get um, spotted very easily by predators. So that's why we have her here. <laughs> you can. We're all, well, you can touch her, but we're all going to touch her at the end. We're going to wait to the end for any opportunity to touch her. That way she can get comfortable around you guys. Um, this is the same time for you guys. She's super happy to be here. Maybe she'll remember you. I hope so. Um, one really cool thing I'm going to tell you all about Snowman is um, she is a non venomous snake. So that's why there are two different types of snakes there are venomous and non venomous. And notice how I said the word venom rather than poison because when you think of poison, and I've even said poison myself, poison is something that you have to touch. So if I were to touch a frog that was poisonous, if I touched its skin, because I touched it, the poison got on me. Whereas with venom, that has to be injected, like a bite. So like a spider would have to bite you, or a snake would have to bite you in order to get venom. So she is non-venomous, and one way I can tell by looking at her if she's non-venomous is by her eyes and by her head. When you look at her head, and I'm going to try to lower her here so you can all see, her head is kind of rounded, oval. So when snakes, when you see snakes and they have oval heads, they are non-venomous. Whereas if you see a snake with like a diamond head, can everyone make a diamond with their hands? So if you see a snake with a diamond, they're a venomous snake because they have, they have venom glands in their mouths. 
Um, another reason, another way you can tell is by looking at their eyes. So when we look into, can any of you see Snowy's eyes? Uh, yes. Tell me what you see when you look into her eyes. They're tiny. Her eyes are kind of polarized. I'll tell you. Her eyes are kind of, they're oval and they're um, round. So that's one thing about the pupils when you look at them. They're that's something interesting about snakes. They don't have eyes. They don't just that have people sit eyes are just eyelids. That's awesome. Very good. That's awesome. So they are rounded. When you see a non-venomous snake, its eyes are rounded. Whereas a venomous snake has slits like cat eyes. That's how you can tell, hmm, I should probably stay away from them. If it has a diamond head and slit eyes, we shouldn't get near them. But just so for everyone's safety, um, just for the snake safety and for your safety, if you're ever out there, um, just keep your distance, you know? It's good to see them and let them be, but you shouldn't go disturb them, just like you wouldn't want someone barging into your home to come disturb you whenever you're trying to do your own thing. One really cool thing about snakes and why we should really like understand how important they are in our environment is that they can really, snakes like snowy eat mice and rats and rodents. That's really important to our environment. Because if we were to lose our snakes and lose our burrows who, that are home to these snakes, then mice and rats would take over, and that would cause a lot of disease, and that would be really bad for us. That's why we got snakes in our life. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's important to our environment. So I'm going to put our friend away real quick, but we'll check him back at the end. Okay, so you guys have learned a lot about
at uh, ten minutes until twenty five. Ten, ten minutes. Perfect. You doing okay? right now. See they're all down there. You see what I'm doing here? I got my video. See this? I got my video there. Making a video. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's making these signs. Yep. Looking good. You see Mitzi? You see Mitzi the tortoise? There she is. She's up there. Maybe Ranger Hunter will bring her back here and let you touch her. You want to touch her? Okay. Let's see if maybe he'll bring her back. Yeah, we'll have her come back here. You want to touch her? Oh, it's going to be so neat. You just wait. Okay. You want to draw? Okay. Okay. Look, he's he's getting closer with Mitzi. Look, Ranger Hunter's gonna bring her back. I think this lady, Ranger Hunter, wants to touch her too. You want to touch her? Look at that. Look, Look at this. Yes. Oh, let's see. Maybe Ranger Hunter, watch this. Let's see. You want to try to touch her? Look, let's touch her one time. You want to? You want to touch her? <laughs> Isn't that cool? I think that is so cool. Look at her. She's so silly. Isn't that cool? Okay. Here we go. You did a good job. Okay. Here we go. You want to work on this side? What do you think? Okay, you did a good job. Good job. Look at her. Too cute. <laughs> Oh, 
Hey, Ranger, hundred bucks. Four minutes. Four twenty-five. So right on time. Perfect.
Can everyone hold up two fingers real quick? So whenever, if you want to touch something, you're going to take your two fingers, and then I'll give you an opportunity when you can touch it like that. Okay? So we bring two fingers. Okay? All right. Excellent job, guys. Excellent. All right, and I'm going to stop the video. Hey, Josie, I'm going to stop the video and take some pictures of y'all touching. Excellent, excellent stuff.